And so this UK company called Niobolt, they have a prototype EV needs less than five minutes to charge. And I've been a few, turned out a few Hyundai's even from 2022 and 2023 actually have the 800 volt architecture and people, you know, they always talk about, well, I don't want to go charge for 40 minutes, but these are talking about putting approximately 40 miles of range in your car every minute. Hi, this is David with EV world news because I've got Mike Herzog with me today. How's it going, Mike? Doing great, David, getting ready for the holiday. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, it's Wednesday right before July 4th. I, and I, I'm going to a fireworks show in Waterloo tonight. So that, that should be interesting. But let's see. So for today, we have so this UK company called Niobolt. They have a prototype EV needs less than five minutes to charge. Now, we, we've talked a little bit prior about like gravity charging company that's got the charging stations that are 800 volt yeah. out in New York City, and they can do five minute charging and it turns out and i've been a few turned out a few hyundai's even from 2022 and 2023 actually have the 800 volt architecture and i, I didn't actually realize that i had starts um like the specs where they have you know department of energy has a lot of them listed and a lot of them have the 800 volt the new models new models yeah for 24 right. for 24 right. and 25 right. yeah I mean, it's, it's yeah, they're preparing for it. And people, you know, they always talk about, well, I don't want to go charge for 40 minutes. But these are talking about putting approximately 40 miles of range in your car every minute, which is, you know, if you think level two charging, that's like 40 miles of range every hour, right? Yeah. And th this is every minute. So, anyways, let, let's see what we got here. So, Niobolt showed off his prototype EV where its latest real-world test at the Millbrook Proving Ground in England took less than five minutes to get it from 10% to 80%. That's faster than the fastest charging EVs like the Ionic 6, which takes 18 minutes to get from 10 to 80%. Now, that 18 minutes, I think that Ionic 6 has that 800-volt architecture. If you, But the fact is that the only 800-volt chargers I'm aware of are those ones in New York City. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure they're expanding that. That was about two months ago, maybe we reported on the gravity chargers. Yeah, yeah. They've probably put more in in other places. I'd really hope that that is, you know, going to be fruitful for them. You know, but I, I'm sure that if, if you have cars that charge that fast, you need more infrastructure, right? Yes. So I, I'm I'm sure there's some challenges to making that it's happen. All, it's all low shape and it's one, you know, it's, you need to deliver so much energy if you you know, deliver it over 12 hours or eight hours or two hours or 20 minutes or five minutes. It's, it's all, you can't get away from how much energy to deliver. So how, how big is that spike going to be? This one, it's a little scary. I was talking to some people yesterday about it. Um, and just, just some of the safety concerns too, you know, once you start to get up into that high voltage at, at a, a commercial, uh, location like that. And it's just, it's it's a big one it's a big one you know there's a lot lot more concerns um at those higher voltages too yeah you know i and i have seen and i don't know what companies are trying it but apparently some companies are trying to come out with you know dual battery architecture so you can charge from two different chargers at the same yeah. time yeah. you know and so th there there's some concepts coming out that will really enhance <laughs> getting you know one of those charging was it the Tesla Super Truck? Is not the Cyber the, Truck. The, me the mega. It, 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 so those are mega chargers. Yeah. It, okay. So they're doing that for tractor trailers. Yeah. Well, they'll be charging two at once. Two at once. Yeah. And and even then, it's a much more power. It's it's the eight hundred volt architecture. So you know, still that's only putting in. If you're doing it two, that would be what eighty miles a minute. You're adding there. That's still pretty fast. I mean. If you look at a diesel truck when they're loading up both sides and they got they're pumping diesel into both, but that gives them about thirteen hundred miles of range when they're doing both. They're sitting there for a while pumping in, you know, um, I don't know how many hundreds of gallons of diesel they're pumping in. They're probably one hundred and fifty on each side. That takes a few minutes. Well, and that's I was even wondering at a, you know, just just a regular old vehicle when you're at the pump and you know, miles per gallon and what you get. And I mean, if you got a slow day on one of those pumps, I mean, you're getting, you're getting a couple of gallons per minute, um, which isn't, 
isn't that much faster than this uh, when everything's said and done. But then... No, no, I get it. We're we're getting some uh, definite, you know, enhancements and what what can be done in the charging field, but they're not rolled out everywhere. Okay, they're not really rolled out anywhere. They're they're just things that are coming out, you know, in the next all for like I said, the only one I'm aware of is one that's in a parking garage in New York City that's even 800 volt. But for this one for Niable, its battery can achieve fast charging rates thanks to a combination of pri- proprietary anode materials and improved battery cell design and a whole suite of software that enables better charging performance. Some caveats though, instead of going with a big battery that charges slowly, they have a small battery that can recharge quickly with a smaller size. It has less battery capacity, which tops out at 155 miles on a single charge. Well, that's not really quite as exciting as that's pretty some cool. of the, um, yeah. So huh. the whole Niobolt prototype only weighs 2,755 pounds. That's lighter than the Hummer EV's battery by itself. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Uh, they're they're expecting the battery prototypes battery life up to six hundred thousand miles. The only thing with estimating that, where I've seen that people have had to replace batteries in Teslas, are generally people who are constantly charging at superchargers their battery to ninety to a hundred percent. Not yeah. once charging it to eighty that's recommended, but charging it to ninety to a hundred consistently. And uh, across all vehicles I've seen, I mean that is a it is a universal recommendation for driving where it's, hey, don't use a supercharger when you have to uh, and charge to 100% if you know you're going to go a long distance. But yeah, that 80% in level two is pretty pretty universal across the board as a, as a recommended practice for these vehicles. So yeah, if right. you really are doing this cross country and using it for long distance, I mean, same with everything else. Yeah, it's going to wear out quicker. Hi, I'm David with EV World News. If you like this video, then please press the like button. If you like the content and would like to see more videos on electric vehicles, then please hit the subscribe button. If you have some feedback for us, please let us know in the comments. Have a great day.